What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how and where to upgrade on a budget in 2025. You can definitely decide to go used on the used market, which I'm going to explain a little bit about on which parts you can find or use recycled parts around your house if you're fortunate enough to have older computers or things that are laying around. So I'm going to break down three different platforms, the Intel platform, utilizing the LGA 1700 socket, which isn't the current generation, right? The previous generation, they have three iterations of those uh, CPUs that you can utilize. And I'm going to go through that as well as the two different options. Well, really just one option now in the AMD uh, platform, which is AM5 and AM4 platforms. So I'm going to tell you use case for each or, right? So this is budget builds for 2025. And if you're just getting into computers, this is going to be something that you want to look for and decide if you want to stick to it long term or just see if it's something that you you want to do, right? So we're going to start out with the Intel side just because there's only one segment here that I want to talk about. And essentially, it is setting yourself up for future-proofing yourself, essentially. Um, this build here is going to be just shy of 700 bucks. It's going to be great for 1080p gaming um, and nothing else really. So um, we're going to start off with the Intel Core i5 14 400F. This thing already comes with a cooler, right? And you have these options here. We're using PC Part Picker and I can link some of these builds down below in the comments uh, in the description so you guys can either purchase these builds directly or shop and build and tweak it however you want to with your budget. So Looking at the i5 14400F, it's a 10 core processor already, and it comes with a stock cooler, saves you some money that way, and uh, yeah, definitely gives you all the performance you need. You're going to see that in gaming alone, you really only need six to eight cores. About five to six years ago, four cores was enough. Now that number has moved up to six to eight cores, right? Obviously, if you're a creator and things like that, I, this this video is not for you guys. So I'll make, I could make a separate video if you guys want to, let me know down below in the comments, but already you're looking at 10 cores with 16 threads, more than enough. And like I said, it'll save some money that way without having to get a cooler. And with that, we're going to move into that motherboard. This one here has a Wi-Fi uh, chip already built into it. Taking a look at it, right? You're on a budget, but most of the time you can't string along a hundred foot in ethernet cable through your house. Uh, or if you are fortunate enough to be right next to your router then that would be a, the best bet and you could probably save some money that way uh, this particular one right here is with asrock asrock has been known to be cheaper almost eight ten years ago um when when pcs were getting in there but this one here you get quite a bit of things ddr5 support all the way up to 7200 mega transfers or megahertz right and right now, the sweet spot for Intel is anywhere. Uh, it's still about 6,000, right, for kind of all, both AMD and, and that. And I've seen a lot of people utilizing 6,000 megahertz, and I think that's a, a sweet spot there. You can run 4,800. I wouldn't go any lower than that on DDR5, honestly. Um, but other than that, you do have those things available there. You have M.2 slots available on there, so you can do a NVMe drive on your on your computer, right, versus having a SATA drive. But this is something that you can definitely utilize, and I wouldn't really shy away from it if you want to use it for some video editing and photo editing, right? 32 gigs of memory on the DDR5 platform. There is a huge jump going from 16 to 32. So for 32 gigs right here, you can choose to go down, and you'll save maybe 20 to 30 bucks that way if you are trying to make this total number closer to that $600 budget range. But this is all new. Um, for this case right here for, for Ram, I would say, check your used market in your areas. Some people are selling them for 40 bucks on average used, right? And Ram doesn't typically go bad, uh, typically, right? And then from there, one terabyte hard drive, 45 uh, bucks here. This is an SSD. Um, obviously you can check around for the used market, but typically with storage, I would recommend sticking with it new just cause you can move it around from build to build and and go from there and then of course we went with the cheapest mid tower atx case um even though we have a micro AT atx case here they had different options here but 30 bucks and then a six, uh, 550 watt corsair power supply keeps us more than enough below the uh tdp here for wattage on the total system and then for your gpu 
we're gonna go with the rx 600 8 gigabyte card uh the performance on this this has always been the budget go-to GPU. Obviously, for $50 more, you can go with like the Arc B580. But again, your total price there would go up. So if you're wanting something new, completely new, this is the way to go. You can check out from this, do whatever you need to do, right? But the components here, just like I'll share with every other build that you can check out is that are used, is you can definitely get a used like 3070 maybe even a 2080 for less than 200 bucks or right around that price range. 3070s, you can get them for about two to 300 bucks if you know how to negotiate, right? And of course, anytime you buy anything used, do your testing, do some tests and watch some YouTube videos on there. And of course, uh, in the future, I'll have hardware GPU reviews for you guys to check out. Um, actually, I have a test bench right now with the 5600, which... On one of these builds here, you'll see on the AMD side that I'll be using for people who are wanting to buy something used out there that don't know if you're wanting to stick with PC gaming or just give it a shot and not invest too much into it. So this is the Intel side of the things on the house. Again, you can carry the DDR5 memory across from AMD or Intel. Um, so that can save you some money down the road. And of course, your power supply, um, you can choose to go with something else out there. So 600 watts, there are some other options, but this is probably a decent option here and of course cases and things like that um, you can definitely move around but with this intel cpu here you can definitely keep this for a while and then six months or even a year down the road just upgrade your gpu and you'll be completely fine to do some 1440p gaming and even possibly some 4k gaming depending on the gpu that you go with so this is the intel build like i said i'll leave this down below in the description so you guys can tweak it do whatever you need and go from there so now we're going to move into the amd side of things in the house here um this is where it gets a little tricky so aim5 is definitely the route that you want to go to if you plan on sticking with this pc for a while the reason why i ask uh, of you guys to do this is because one am5 is the latest generation and has the most support moving forward with amd Right, you have the 7000 series, the eight, uh, eight, some of the 8000 CPUs are in between, as well as the 9000 series that just came out. So, you can take this motherboard essentially and then pop in a Ryzen, let's say 9600X or a 9900X, right, into the same motherboard and just do a BIOS update two, three years down the road if you decide to go with whatever else new is out there, right? It'll still support that. Obviously, if they come out with like DDR5 10,000 megahertz or something like that, you're going to have to get a different motherboard to support that type of speed if, if for some reason it gains, gives you more performance or transfer or whatever, right? But motherboard right here is another good option. This one doesn't have the Wi-Fi support, so it saves us a few bucks there. Um, and then the CPU, right? We went with the Ryzen 5 8400F. This also comes with a cooler already, so you don't have to worry about it. This is six cores uh, on this one here and 12 threads. As you guys know, the 5600X on the AM4 platform is still a viable chip. Same with like the 5700X3D, 5800X3D, which are higher core counts, things like that. But six cores, I would recommend sticking to uh, for this if you're strictly just trying to go with a full brand new PC build. So $610, not bad at all. Um, and then team group, 32 gigs of ram again this is something that you can check on the used market and of course we're still sticking with that one terabyte drive at 45 bucks and then 600 watt power supply this is something you can carry over from build to build right so that's another long-term component that you can keep same with the motherboard and or case of your choice so this one here draws less than 300 watts which is perfect and again same thing goes with the motherboard you can just do bios updates in the future if you decide to upgrade your processor in the AM5 family. Now, if you plan on doing this long term and you know you want to get into PC gaming, do not do any more AM4. So I'm talking if you're brand spanking new to the market, do not go AM4 anything else. Don't go anything older than Ryzen 7000, right? The 7000 series. Because if you want to invest into this, there are a lot of parts and components that you can use on this current build to carry into your next build down the road right so ddr5 4800 megahertz transfer there um you have that again like i said you can check it out 
on the used market, 40 bucks, save yourself $30 there. Maybe put some more money towards your GPU. Again, we're going with the RX 600 here. Great for 1080p gaming from medium settings uh, to high settings, depending on the game that you're playing. If it's just mainstream, like Call of Duty, um, Apex, things like that, this card will eat that up and it'll be just fine, right? So you're perfect there. Now, if you're thinking long-term, go AM5. Now, if you're just trying to figure out if you want to indulge into PC gaming or you just know you're going to be playing like cozy games, but you don't want anything old or used, you can still go with the AM4 side of things, but there's definitely a lot of used PCs out there that I have seen on the used market with 3,900Xs, 3,700Xs, even 5,600Xs, or even some with 5,700X 3Ds that are around that 600 or under 600 used mark, and they have RTX 1080 Ti's in them, or even 20 series GPUs in them, and uh, or even like 3060s, right? So, again, if you plan on sticking with gaming PCs or PC as your mainstream gaming, I really wouldn't recommend going to AM4 anymore, right, at all with this platform. Again, if you're really on a tight budget, this does put it under 600 bucks. So, and you don't want to deal with the used market, this is a good setup here. Pretty basic, right? Gets you into all those, again, Fortnite, Call of Duty, and Apex, those type of games. And obviously, this will be good for like your typical web browsing. It'll be more than enough for your typical web browsing. We're doing the Ryzen 5 5500 here. It's still a six core part right? One of the lowest end six core parts you can get on the AM4 platform. So I wouldn't go anything older than this or lower than this, uh, unless you're going to like a 3900X or 3800X in that later generation, right? So brand new component has the heat uh, heatsink fan on there included. So you don't have to worry about getting uh, another um, cooler for your CPU. And of course here with the motherboard, this one here has the Wi-Fi chip included. Uh, again, a hundred bucks, but Big thing, the reason why I'm saying, hey, you know, if you are going to buy new, definitely go into the um, AM5 platform because here you can see the totals. About a $30 difference, right, from AM5 to the old AM4 platform. Um, again, you can find used GPUs on all three platforms from Intel to these two AM4, AM5 builds. Check your used market out there. If your budget is around 200 bucks for a GPU, you can definitely get more for your money on the used market. Just do your testing. And of course, if you have any questions or comments down below, let me know and I can help guide you guys and decide on what you guys have available to you guys there. So always look for deals. Check New Egg, Amazon, Best Buy. Uh, if you have Micro Center next to you, definitely go in there and check it out. Compare these builds that you have. And again, like I said, I'll leave them down below in the description. But this is just a quick high overview and a little bit of guidelines on why you should stay away from AM4 platform in 2025 and stick with the AM5 platform moving forward in 2025 if you definitely want to go long term, right? So again, if you don't know if you're going to be playing PC gaming that much and you don't want to deal with the used market, you can definitely go with this AM4 platform. But if you decide to sell it later on, the AM5 platform is going to be more appealing to people that are out there. So it'll help hold its value a little bit better. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, drop in a like will help my channel grow. Leave your comments down below. What are your thoughts? What things have you found in your used market area, like Marketplace, offer up things like that? And like I said, links will be down below. And as well as my build sheet for my current system here right now, affiliate links to help the channel grow. It doesn't cost you guys any more out there. So if you guys want to tweak around and see what power supply I have, I've had my power supply for almost six years uh, through three different builds. And... Yeah, that's just a component I've kept for the longest time next to my graphics card that I've had other than upgrading every two to three years on that component. So um, you guys know what it is. It's Red Zone signing off. Keeping it real, keeping it hot, and keeping it raw. Your normal 9 to 5 guy bringing some high quality content for you guys to enjoy. I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.